Hi friends, welcome or welcome back to the channel. Um, welcome to a weekly vlog, um, weekly reading vlog, whatever you want to call it. But um, it's Monday, it is Monday the 4th of March. Um, we're starting to get spring vibes, you know, I just actually got back home, um, and y'all, it's a little toasty out there today, it's like 70, at least in Nashville, it's like 77 degrees, I had to go by the post office, and then I went to Target, I still have like 10 minutes left on my lunch, so I'm like, why not go ahead and start this vlog? I was supposed to start Magnolia Parks, like my plan was to... This is actually supposed to be me reading Magnolia Parks into the dark vlog. That's what this is supposed to be. But I don't think it's going to happen because I just don't think I'm in. First of all, if y'all watch my, by the time this is up, that video should be up. My February monthly wrap up, you know that I absolutely devoured Daisy Hates. I gave it five stars. Daisy Hates the Great Undoing. And it put me in the worst book slump after because nothing was hitting the same. But it wasn't even that I wanted something to hit like that. I just wanted something. I just wanted to read a book that I was just there for for the vibes. Like, I didn't need, I mean, and not saying like Daisy hates, like, it's not like plot heavy, it's more character heavy. Um, but like, I just was like, I need something more so like plot. And just like, you know, when you just there for the vibes, like that's what I needed. And it was so hard to find that. I didn't read for like a full week because I just kept thinking about Daisy Hates and like nothing was just like, nothing was hitting the spot for me. So I had started the Love Sisters trilogy um, and it's like a collection of like three novellas um, about three sisters and like how they find the man for them. I guess what you can say and I finished Mr. Wrong Number on Saturday and y'all I thought that book pulled me out of my slump I enjoyed that book so much gave it five stars and I think if I would have read like I think it was just like the time that I read it it was exactly what I needed because I can't say like I would have gave it five stars if I had like read it like earlier in the month like I but like it just like it hit at the exact right time that I needed to hit so like you know, I give, I like literally binged it like all day Saturday. Like that was my Saturday. It, it deserved five stars for me in that moment. But, um, I thought that I was out of the book slump and I was like, okay, well let me, you know, dive back into the Atlas Paradox. Still was not in the mood. And I just realized, you know, I just need something easy. So I just like, since I know like I'm just in a rom coming mood right now, I just don't want to dive into that book and then like be kind of left disappointed which I really I just don't think that's possible with that series but like you know I just want to wait till I'm like really like okay I'm ready for some Magnolia BJ drama like I think that's I just need to wait until I'm in that mood but the first book that I'm thinking of starting out is The Fake Out. This is the second book in the Vancouver Storm series. And actually, if y'all follow me on Instagram, then you already know. But I got it. It came upside down and backwards. So it wouldn't even be like me reading it like this, but just me reading it like upside down. No, I have to read it upside down and I have to start on the back. So, and I got this back in December. Y'all, check y'all books. I don't know. I... I never really thought to check my books because I never had that issue. I know people have had issues in the past with getting their books printed wrong. Um, so I was like, I was kind of hurt because I was like, well, and I know it's on Kindle Unlimited, but y'all know I got to have a physical copy. That's just, it's a me thing. Um, so yeah, I reached out to them and I was like, I know I got this back in December, but I just realized like I cannot, this is, I mean, I guess technically you could still read it, but I'm like, I spent money. I don't want no improper book <laughs> um so luckily y'all shout out to Amazon because they came through for your girl they are sending me another copy um so I can put it in display it on my shelf I like I said, I'm gonna start reading on my Kindle so I like I don't have to wait until the new copy gets here I can start it so I think I'm gonna start this tonight or after work I also started um I think it's timid 
I always, yes, okay, I'm always like, is it, they're all so close, like, in name. Um, I, so I read Tattered, like, two weeks ago when I was reading Daisy Hates. So my plan was to read Timid this week while reading Magnolia Parks. So I'm like, well, that's a good balance. But, like, I already told y'all, I'm just not in the mood for it right now. So we're going to read, I'm going to continue Timid. I've been reading it on my Kindle. It's been more, so it's not a book that I can, like, sit there and binge. It's just been, like... You know, like, am I in a, it's like one of those books where I just pick up, like, where I'm, like, in the mood to read, but I, like, don't, I don't know how I'm trying to explain it. It's just, it's not a book that I'll just sit and binge, you know, but I do like it. I like it to continue it. I'm loving the series. Um, I don't know if it's going to top the first one. I love the first one. I was very shocked, but yeah, we will see if this gets us out of this book slump. That is what this video is titled getting out of a book slump reading vlog. So yeah, I will see you guys a little later today. later it's actually it's Wednesday the 6th Wednesday morning and I'm about to get ready to log on to work but I just wanted to give you guys an update so I did finish the fake out last night um really good actually it's <laughs> um I gave it four stars um it's like I said, it's kind of, it's just one of those books where you just are there for the vibes, you know. It's all it's uh you can figure out the plot. It's a fake dating. Um but I love Rory. I love that like he's like this golden retriever guy and you have like the black cat as the female main character. So yeah, it was really good. Um I giggled, I laughed like literally uh so funny <laughs> and like uh I, it was just a good time. Like, but yeah, um, I'm gonna continue reading Timid during my lunch, and then I also think I am gonna start, um, let me find the title. I Think I Might Want You, which is the third sister, which is the third book in the Love Sisters trilogy. Um, and it's like, I think a hundred something pages. Let's see. Okay, literally 126 pages. So I'll probably read this first and then go into Timid during my lunch. Um, but yeah, I need to do my hair and put on like real clothes for so while I work. So I also gotta go to the post office today. So there's that. But yeah, that is the update. And I will talk to you guys a little bit later this evening and give you guys an update on what I read during my lunch time. So. See you guys in the next clip. <laughs>
hi guys it's the next day i different day different pajamas we are i got off work immediately got showered and stuff so i could get comfortable because i think i told y'all this earlier in the week but i knew oh i knew um like my tuesday wednesday thursday no Wednesday, Thursday, Friday of work was going to be super busy. So, like, I have not had any chance to, like, I've only been able to read at night. Which is why y'all see me always in my pajamas. Because by the time I get ready to read, I'm ready to lay down. But, yeah, I... <laughs> y'all so today while i was working i was like oh i listen to an audiobook but then i'm like i don't know so i started listening to who the fuck did i marry on tiktok y'all know the risa tisa 52 part story and y'all i have been eating this up all day i am on part 36 yes i am on part 36 y'all and y'all this could be a book I think I heard that she sound with a ta talent agency, y'all. Y'all get that woman her coin because, baby, that is insane. I have so many questions and I plan on finishing it <laughs> and then I'll start reading. But, but the last clip y'all seen, I was reading, um, I think I might want you. Let's see. I think it was, I think I might want you, um, which is the third book. Yeah. Um, the third book in the Love Sisters trilogy. So I read that one. Honestly, I hate to say it, but I think that was my least favorite one, um, out of them. But it was still good. I gave it three stars. But I do, I think, I think, I don't know which one if I love one or two better. But the first one or the second one. But yeah. Anyways, I am going to continue Timid. I'm like 20% in or 25% in as y'all know I've been like slowly getting through that one so I'm hoping to try to get to like 50% today hopefully um and then I was gonna start my rereads if I like wasn't feeling myself coming out of the slump but I think I am feeling myself coming out of the slump or it could just be a fake coming out of the slump because yeah I may just be so invested in this who the fuck did I marry that I may think I'm not in the reading slump, but as soon as I try to read, we'll see. Um, but if I am in the mood to read, I am going to start before I let go, which is on my, um, which is on my March TBR. I think this one was a book by a black author. Yes. Book by a black author. So we're going to read Kennedy Ryan before I let go. I actually just got the new one um, delivered yesterday, which is... I forgot the title of it, but it's the second one in this little world. So, yeah. Because, um, like I said earlier, I'm not in the headspace to start Magnolia Parks into the dark. I just don't think I can do that to myself right now. So, um, yeah. First, I'm going to finish watching this little TikTok series. Um, and then go ahead and continue reading. And I think I already let you guys know, but I finished the fake out. Um, I gave it four stars. Yeah, I think I did tell you guys that. So, yeah, let's, I'll talk to you guys or show you guys the clip, next clip once I finish watching this TikTok series. <laughs> Hi, guys. Y'all, I have finished the TikTok series. And I'm actually, I got down a rabbit hole, obviously trying to find more videos. And then I found an interview that Legion did. Um, but it's like two hours and i'm sorry but i'm not about to <laughs> watch that now oh my gosh y'all it's about to be 10 o'clock i cannot believe it's that late um but i'm gonna go ahead and try to read a little bit of i think i'm just gonna continue timid and then start before i let go tomorrow um and hopefully finish it by saturday like the fact that i'm actually excited to read tonight which I haven't been excited to read. I've just been like reading, like, you know, I've been reading and once I get into the book, it's exciting, but like just the initial like excitement that I have to read, I was not having that. And so it's like slowly coming back, slowly coming back. Um, On chapter six of Timid. So yeah, let's read. I'm gonna try to get to 50% tonight. But the chapters are long. They're like 18. It like says like 18 minutes long. So that's a long time. But we'll see. I will update you guys in the morning. 
or at some point tomorrow with this and then hopefully we'll start the Kennedy Ryan book. Hi guys it is the next day it is friday y'all it is 10 39 p.m i just got home not too long ago showered got cozy for bed um so this is normally the time i would get ready to read y'all the slump is still slumping it's like the minute i think i'm out of it it's like no you thought you really thought so i think the last time i talked to y'all i was in like the i was starting timid again Y'all, I am still at only 21% of this book. I think when I started this vlog, I was maybe 15%. Um, well, hold on. No, I'm actually... Go back to earlier today. Where was I at earlier today? Oh, wait. Hold on. Okay. Yeah. So, I am 21% in. I am on chapter six. I start. I was in the middle of this chapter last night, and I think I only read... Yeah, I literally only read two pages worth of on my Kindle and I was just like, I'm tired. Like it wasn't that the book was bad. I was just tired. If y'all remember, I was real. I basically binge watched the whole um, Who the Fuck Did I Marry series on TikTok. And then I woke up early this morning, y'all, and I watched the interview that Legion did on YouTube. Y'all, I've been invested. That thing got me in a chokehold. Um, but yeah, so... I don't know it's just like I would just anything I, I think my attention span is just kind of messed up right now and you can probably say well how did you sit there and watch you know 50 parts on a tick it was I don't know I'm asking the same question I think because I, I, I honestly don't know I do not know <laughs> how I kept my attention span but I'm gonna try to read tonight and I'm just gonna focus on Timmy because like I said the story like it's it's good like I can tell it's gonna get really in like the plot it's gonna get really good like I'm actually interested in it I just don't feel like reading um so yeah we're gonna see how that goes and I think I told y'all I was supposed to start before I let go have not started it yet I'm hoping to start it tomorrow now um I actually don't have I just have to pack I have to pack for my upcoming trip um is all I have to do tomorrow so and also I'm gonna film a book like chit chat video like I posted on my Instagram to ask me questions, like book questions. Those are gonna be like a little book. I'm call. I think I'm gonna call it a book night in, like girls night in, but book night in. Let me know what that sounds like. <laughs> hopefully, hopefully y'all enjoy that. Um, but yeah, so that's the update. Um, is that we have really not? I really have not truly read anything. I think since Wednesday. Wednesday was when I finished I Think I Might Want You. I think is when I finished that Wednesday. And then yesterday literally only read two pages. I have not touched anything today. So we're going to try to continue timid. And hopefully I can get to like 50%. And then tomorrow hopefully we can go ahead and start before I let go. And finish timid. Um, so yeah we'll see. But I just want to give you guys an update. And... Yeah, we'll talk tomorrow. But yeah, hopefully, you know, hopefully we come out this slump really soon because it sucks. It sucks being in the slump. Hi, guys. So it is the next morning. Um, the clip you guys just saw. I finally finished. I finished Timmy, y'all. My hair looks 
cray cray like oh my gosh <laughs> but i have finished timid i gave it four stars um i was i'm really like 3.5 but like rounded it up to a four star and y'all i like thoroughly enjoyed this book like this was really good um going into it at first it was like i feel like it was kind of slow um because it was just like the main female character was just pining for the guy um and it eventually did grow on me but at the beginning i think that's why it took me so long to get into it because i'm just like girl stop pining for this man <laughs> um but yeah so i finished it i do feel like i'm not going to say i'm like 100 percent out of my slump but i am excited to read like once i go finish running these errands i'm going to come home and i'm going to start this so i'm super excited about that i'm hoping that we are on the on the upper side of this on of this slump and yeah so i just want to come on here and end the little weekly reading vlog of trying to get out of the slump um i say i'm at least like i say 75 percent out of the slump like now i can like because i can see myself like reading another genre now i just don't know how long it would keep me interested but at first i couldn't even fathom picking up another genre other than like a rom-com so you know that that's a good sign but yeah i still feel like i can easily get boarded out right now so i'm still just you know at least I know something can keep my attention. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, you know, I don't, I think it also just feels good to finish a book. But yeah, I think we read what, two, two or three books, I think, throughout this week. And one was just like a little novella, which it never, like the amount of books you read does not matter. Sometimes you're going to have weeks like this. Like I, said, I knew I had a heavy work week. Um, and then I got caught on the TikTok stories and the legion all of that like y'all that was a whole thing that took that right there that's a whole day that's a full-time job watching all of that um but yeah so thank you guys for watching the video let me know what other kind of reading vlogs you want to see i'm thinking about doing like um like a reading vlog where i read like different genres um but like only using my book of the month books because i have a lot of book of the month books and i have not really read a lot of them and there's a lot on there that i do want to read so let me know if you guys want to see that like a book of the month theme video not sponsored i mean a book if book of the month want to sponsor i'm all hands i'm all in for it but yeah let me know if you guys want to see something like that because i know some people are hesitant about book of the month but i love them i love them um but yeah so i will see you guys in the next video i love you guys bye <laughs>